The temptation to pre-order the PlayStation 5 Pro has been building for a while. But the final decision didn't come without a bit of a drama. Initially I set my sight on the PlayStation 5 Pro 30th anniversary bundle, a sleek limited edition version that had fans buzzing. This bundle was everything I could have wanted, a celebration of the PlayStation's legacy, the Pro's enhanced performance and a collector's item all in one package. But there was a catch. Pre-orders for the 30th anniversary bundles became available and I was ready, with my finger hovering over the button. However, within 10 minutes, because of the queue issues on the website, it was unfortunately already out of stock. It was insane, no chance of securing it. What made it worse was that this special edition was only available through the PlayStation Direct Store. The quantities were extremely limited. I had expected high demand, but the speed which it was disappeared left me quite a little bit of a shock. I realized I wasn't going to be one of the lucky few to snag one. The brief moment of a defeat didn't last long though. I quickly pivoted back to my original plan of pre-ordering the standard PlayStation 5 Pro. This was the version I initially set my sights on, and even though I missed out on the special edition, the core features of the Pro, its improved GPU, support for the ray tracing, faster load times, and future-proof design were still incredibly appealing. So I placed my free order and felt relieved that at least I secured a spot in line. Now we did know about this information, but nevertheless it was interesting just a few days after when I pre-ordered the PlayStation 5 Pro, it became available on the other retailers. And that's when I stumbled upon something even more fortuitous. Game Store had a PlayStation 5 Pro with a disk drive bundle and was being offered with a 20 euros discount. Given that trying to purchase a disk drive separately is not only ex super expensive but frequently met with stock issues, this was a no-brainer decision. The bundle was an easy choice since it combined with the convenience of a disk drive with a lower price. So not only had I secured my pre-order, but also saved money in the process. Now with my pre-order set and the release of the PlayStation 5 Pro coming on November the 7th, 2024, I have mixed feelings about the actual day one experience. While the hardware promises to push gaming to new heights, there is an unfortunate downside. There won't be any games at launch that truly take the advantage of these capabilities. Its only significant titles release around the same time is LEGO Horizon Adventure. Which, while a bigger release, it's hardly the ideal showcase for the Pro's upgrade hardware. LEGO games are charming, but they aren't exactly known for pushing technical boundaries. What excited me, however, are the games that will eventually showcase the full power of the PlayStation 5 Pro, titles such as Death Stranding 2 and Ghost of Yote, seems perfectly posed to take advantage of the Pro's enhanced features from ray tracing to smooth frame rates and faster loading times. Oh, of course, how could we forget Grand Theft Auto 6? But those games are still a little ways off. In the meantime, there are some older games that will receive updates to make use of the Pro's capabilities, but I feel it's better to look forward to the future. What will truly demonstrate the Pro's power is not past titles, but the new generation of games being developed specifically for the Pro in mind. This anticipation of future releases is part of what keeps me excited about the console. Even though I may not have that mind-blowing next-gen experience on day one, I know that the games coming down the line will make it worth the investment. Whether it's a larger scale, visually stunning open-world games, or fast-paced shooters that take advantage of higher frame rate and better processing power, the PlayStation 5 Pro is built to handle whatever the future of gaming has in store. So while the road to pre-ordering the PlayStation 5 Pro had had its ups and downs, from missing out on the 30th anniversary bundle to finding a greater deal on the game store, I'm thrilled with my decision, even though initially I was very, very skeptical. The November 7th release can't come sooner though, and even though there won't be groundbreaking titles on day one, I am still looking forward to see how this powerful console transforms my gaming experience over the time. 
what is next year's big releases or revisiting all their favorites with enhanced performances. Now the PlayStation 5 Pro with all of its potential represents more than just an incremental upgrade. It's a statement about where gaming is headed. I may not experience its full power immediately, but the anticipation of what's coming makes it quite exciting. There's always something special being in the early adopter, knowing that I'll be among the first to witness the evolution of gaming as developers tap into the pro's capabilities. Ultimately, this pre-order wasn't just about getting my hands on the latest tech. It was about positioning myself for the future. The power of the PlayStation 5 Pro will shine brightest in the months and years ahead, and I'm eager to be part of that journey. Whether I'll be waiting for the titles like Death Stranding 2, Ghost of Yote, and of course Grand Theft Auto 6 and many others, or discovering surprises along the way, I know the investment will pay off at the end of the day. For now, I'll await the November the 7th release, content with the fact that even though I've missed out on the 30th anniversary bundle and unfortunately will not be able to bring in my full unboxing experience for that, but you can definitely expect an unboxing nevertheless for the PlayStation 5 Pro. I still have secured something that will elevate my gaming experience for years to come. With each new game and every technical leap forward, the PlayStation 5 Pro will prove itself and I'll be there controller in hand and ready to experience it all. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe. I see you guys all and have a wonderful day. Allowing not only for better reflections and a greater variety of reflective surfaces, but also for further realism in the casting of shadows. I hope you've enjoyed this run through of the technology behind PlayStation 5 Pro. Simply put, it's the most powerful console we've ever built and a worthy addition to the PS5 family. Let me wrap this up by giving you a quick look at a number of games running on the new console. You'll never break a legend they don't know we are We live in day Don't let me hang it. be worth it. Okay. No! Did I do it? Oh, what is this? What's with all the neon?